Yeah. Uh, something we kind of talked about the other night, and it's coming back around again, right? Okay. A potential reunion with Andre Drummond. Mm -hmm. Andre Drummond, um, he put something out, and it was very interesting, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Andre Drummond obviously loves Detroit. You know, says I love Detroit, mm -hmm. love story that will never die, my home. And plus, he owes me twenty dollars, and I need that. Right? <laughs> I, I, I don't care if it was Xbox three hundred and sixty. I need my money. Go ahead, anyway. go ahead, talk about that real quick. Go so, elaborate for everybody who doesn't know. So, listen, man. Why was King such a big Andre Drummond fan? First and foremost, shout out to Dre's family, especially his mom. Dre was the first player that I ever had an opportunity to have a relationship with. We used to play Xbox together before. I started even doing this sports YouTube. I was a YouTube gamer. Used to play with Dre all the time. And uh, we kind of built a relationship. So it's why I was so upset the way he got traded away. So Right. I don't know Drum the way King does. Um, but I did get a chance to to chop it up with him. And we've been chopping it for every every now and then we talk. Like, you know, once maybe once a year or something like that. But I got a chance to meet him when he was still here. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw that, but when I gave him the handshake, I put a flash drive in his hand with my music on it. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we got a chance to kick. It wasn't the music that you guys hear now, the Pistons. This is before, because this is like 2019, right before he got traded. Yeah. Um, and he responded and he was like, bro, I messed with that. I messed with that heavy. And, you know, we got a chance to kind of kick. It was cool. And he yeah. got traded. Um, and we still do every now and then. If I post something, he'll DM me something every now and then pretty randomly. But if he comes back, he got his Dre, if you're watching, you got your own personal song if you come back. Yes. But sir. um, but I'm with you, bro. He's not happy with his current role <laughs> with the Bulls, especially with them just moving off of uh, Caruso, right? For Josh Giddy and no picks. I don't know how they didn't get any picks from the Thunder in that deal. All them picks they got, you couldn't get one for Caruso? Like, come on, man. That's, that's crazy to me. But with that happening, I don't blame Drummond for wanting out at this point. And like you mentioned, he obviously still has love for the city, yeah. despite fans' unwarranted boos whenever he comes here, as if he just left in free agency. It didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think fans boo him because he was put in an impossible situation when he got here. They expected him to be Joel Embiid. Man. And he's just, he's not, and that's okay, but it's not fair to him. That wasn't no. fair to him at all. So I'm with you, bro. I wouldn't mind a reunion um, for many reasons, some selfish and some basketball. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. You know, like I said, overall, Dre, good dude. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, much more mature now, seen a lot of things in this league. Obviously, from a basketball standpoint, want to see him, especially working with guys like Duran and Stewart. You want those guys to practice against somebody like that right? so they can learn how to get after, especially when it comes to rebounds and being a, some type of presence in the paint. So yeah. you want to see that. And it's for a cheap price, right? So, mm -hmm. But, you know, like I said, looking at that situation, man, obviously always going to love the city. If I'm Dre, I'm saying, you know what? I want to go back and make it right. He mentioned that in right. a podcast you know uh maybe about a year ago yep i would love to go make it right if i'm dre that would be dope if he was to come back and uh you know play a part in the pistons flipping this thing around great relationship with tom gores man mm -hmm. had to understand after all the emotions the emotions left that business is business right you know? so 100%. yeah and i feel like he would be welcomed here too yeah i think i'll be forgiven even though there's nothing to forgive him for i think fans overall would welcome him back and I yeah. think he will. I think he will play for us. I think he will really play hard yeah. for us. What I've learned about Dre, you probably on the same thing. He's a sentimental cat, man. Mm -hmm. He's very sentimental. Like he's yes. very emotional. Yeah. Not like where he's just lashing out, but he's really affected by things that people do and say to him and for him. He remembers things, yes. right? Yes. And he's very give. He's very much reciprocating. He's giving back whatever you give him times ten. That's just his personality. That's how he was raised by his mom, like you talked about. Another thing on top of that. The thing with Dre is he was put in the worst situation, <laughs> you know, and the Pistons have been known to do that to several players, put them in bad situations, right? Yep. Should have never been marketed as the guy, mm -hmm. you know, um, always was supposed to be a piece to a winning team. Exactly. And you've seen guys like Reggie suffer from that too, 
Reggie was right. brought here to be the guy, and it just didn't work out. Man. Yeah, they thought KCP yeah. was going to be Anthony Edwards. Yeah, they yeah. Both came from Georgia. Like, yeah. no, bro. <laughs> yeah. These are pieces you put together to a championship uh, caliber team. Exactly. And that's why you're seeing some of these guys go elsewhere and win because other teams understand that. For some reason, the Pistons just could not understand that. And that's yes. why you all the barking and yelling that I was doing. Like, why are y'all doing this to these dudes? <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're right. The two guys you just mentioned. Reggie yeah. and KCP both won championships with Denver as a piece. Yeah. Not as the guy. KCP got one with the Lakers also. As right? a piece. Bruce Brown got as one with Denver as as a piece. Yeah. So to your point, they were put in impossible situations. So <laughs> I'm with it, bro. At this point, we need a jolt of energy anyway. It's been so much bad news we've gotten over the past couple years. It's time for us to get some good news and to get some good energy in this building. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember your uh, reaction. Yeah, that was that was in <laughs> rare form. I was boy, the anger I had, boy, I was pissed. I think that especially was for what we like traded that. them for, I was really angry, bro. Yeah. I right, listen. So, true story, right? Holla at me. So I'm at work, and it's what by probably like one o'clock in the morning, right? So at this time, my job was 24 hours, mm -hmm. and. Brandon Knight comes in there with his hood on tight like he's trying to be incognito. Mm -hmm. Now, I so happen to be up front and I say, man, ain't nobody looking for your ass. You can let that <laughs> damn hoodie loose. <laughs> I'm so mad, bro. Like you hear in, in, incognito like somebody go run up to you and say, oh, right. man, I ain't looking at you. <laughs> your goofy butt on the bus to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> for real, bro. What about checking for Brandon Knight, bro? If, I thought you was gonna say Brandon Jennings. I gonna say, oh, okay, oh yeah, okay, that's different. But yeah. Brandon Knight, no shade, yeah. but come on, man. You never get. You, he never got over Kyrie. Man, he what? never got over that play. Man, ever. Right. that's yeah. funny. Brandon Jennings, good times. Brandon Knight, not so much. Somebody asked a question about Brandon Jennings. I wonder how far we go if Brandon Jennings didn't tear his Achilles. Mm. <sighs> I will that, say this: we go, we, we go farther than Reggie Jackson took us. Yeah. And yeah. I don't say to Reggie, but Brandon Jennings and Drummond had a different type of connection. You could just see it. The way Drummond would get excited after catching an oop, the way he pushed his head, like, yeah, good stuff. Like, they just had a synergy. Yeah. yeah. That was the Everything. same thing when Jennings hit the, the game winner off the glass against the Spurs. And Man. yes. Yeah. Man. That, was the, that was the incline. For me, that was the incline when he got hurt. Man, I was, I was so. He was. Uh, he had just had a what was it twenty one assist game. Yeah, he had a couple of them. Yeah, he had a couple of them. 20, 20, 20 games. <sighs> twenty twenty games, bro. He, man, yeah. So, okay, so I'm gonna get too far, of course, but yeah, so many what ifs, man. So many what ifs. Yeah, exactly, Devin. Exactly off, off the glass and not underhand either. He was pushing that thing off the glass. He was just throwing it up there. He yes, was yeah, and every other night every other night bro what was uh what was the backup we had dj augustine we had him for a while when jennings got hurt before we got reggie and it was just that was a bad time that was a bad time it was. i i do hope that we get a shot or at least that drummond is considered to come back here i, I think it'll be a nice a nice story nice storybook uh, kind of ending for him depending yep. on how long he, he wants to play that's the thing though i don't know I selfishly want him to come back, but I also want him to win a championship. I want to, I want him to, or at least right. at least have some significant playoff runs. Right. He hasn't even really had that because even when he went to the Lakers and he was a big Penguin, they weren't that good then. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. when he was with Philly, they didn't. I think Embiid was hurt and he they didn't go anywhere with Cleveland. They didn't go. You know what I mean? So like everywhere he went after us has led to nothing really for him. Right. You know what I mean? So it would be nice to see him get a shot to play some meaningful basketball in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, man, I would definitely would. Cause like I say, he was definitely, he was playing some ball for the Bulls. And it was like, he, he was playing, not that he ever played hero ball, but how many times will we see him in his younger days, his less mature days, when he didn't have much direction mm -hmm. long enough, right? Cause she was there for like one year, I think when he was, and that was when he was at his best. But how many times will we see him, instead of completing a DHO, trying to pull a Draymond Green and shooting to the basket, dribbling the ball like he can, you know what I mean? And losing the ball, trying yeah. to do too much with the ball. Whenever I see him go like this, I'm yeah. like, turnover coming. It will happen. So that was the only thing that would frustrate me with him. Is yeah. He would try to do too much outside of his scope. But once again, 
he was being asked to do too much outside of his scope. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't really his problem. If he had more options and weapons around him, there would be no need. If he had a cade on the team, it'd be no need for him to ever put the ball on the floor. Another thing the Pistons do, obviously, they they tried to shove him out to the three-point line. I don't know why we skipped the 15-footer so much with the team. <laughs> we did it then, and we still do it now. Good point. I have yet to see uh, Isaiah Stewart miss a 15-foot jump shot, but he won't shoot him now. Bro, we sat down pregame warm-ups when they were playing the restoration, by the way. Destination restoration. And we watched him shoot about 15 straight middies i think he made 13 of them <laughs> but they were butter during the game we didn't see any of that no. No. <laughs> it was Not wild it's two points it counts <laughs> yeah he could be very lethal in that area yeah so yeah man this was a big part of i think why too he wasn't the player he could have been andre oh, andre God. you gotta move the ball andre yeah. All game long. Go run move. Ah Bro. And that's another thing. They were trying to turn him into Dwight Howard. Yeah. They were trying to give him a post game and But all to... that he ended up frustrating him just like he frustrated Dwight Howard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stan Van Gundy is the Matt Patricia of coaches. <laughs> he is, man. He really is. This dude is a annoying little fat meatball. I feel Sweet. like he's a better coach than Matt Patricia, though. Man. He did take Oledo to the finals. Matt, Matt Patricia took who where? Well, Matt Patricia is a multi-time Super Bowl winning. As a head coach. Defensive coordinator. As a head coach. <laughs> I'm talking about. The Patriot way, right? <laughs> that's, that's all Belichick and Brady. Airbnb is what I'm going to call it. Yeah, but I do think that, once again, they were trying to make him into something he wasn't. And it was yeah. excruciating to watch. But I mean, that's kind of the situation you're put in when you don't have a GM who knows what they're doing, right? I think Van Gundy was a much better coach than he was a GM, right? Yeah. That trade for Blake Griffin. I love Blake Griffin. I love what he did when he was here. But that set us back. <laughs> that set us back. As far as our flexibility, that set us way back, especially for a team that wasn't going anywhere. We got, we did all that just to get swept again. Yeah. Fans was, man, up and down my, my, timeline and up in, in in the comments and man see blake scored 50 this that and the third and i just kept saying wait for it just wait for it yeah as yeah. soon as we need him gone and even with him like we still really didn't have enough you know what i mean like we still didn't have enough to really contend even then with blake so just that trade really set us back long story short i want i want drummer to come back to have him in the gym bodying up jalen Dern. And Isaiah Stewart just kind of reinforcing who we are. Dre's a physical guy. He loves that contact. That's why he would always dominate the Carl Anthony Towns of the world. Guys who didn't like contact because he would play his game and just dominate them. Yeah, yeah, especially when he got snubbed for that All-Star game. Boy, Man, you know he what's gave, funny? gave Rudy Gobert the Bro, business. You know what's funny? Talking about All-Star snubs. When I met him, that was right after the voting had ended. And he got beat out just barely by by a coach's vote as a bench roll for Vucevic. Yeah. Nikola Vucevic. So the first thing I said to him when I walked up to him, I said, Vucevic though? That's yeah. why he started laughing. I feel like he, especially now that he's mature and he's older and he's more settled in, he's a father now. You know what I mean? I think he, he could bring some maturity, as weird as that sounds, he could bring some maturity to this young team. Show them you fearless, pull up like billers. They got it twisted, just like a Phillips. Shots from the bank, Uncle Phillip. They got a fill us. Lock them down, baby, steal it. Fast break, windmill it. Baseline, jump a killer. A fake bait, gotta reel them. Michael Jackson, this a thriller. Corner three or the alley. Move like John Spider Sally. They beat them boys out in Cali. But time had to taste shine. They beat them boys out in Cali. Call of a champion. With a shot like Rip Hamilton. Cross over, dismantle it. Got a smile for the camera lens. Lizzie hunt them and damage them. Bill and bill with them hands again. Gotta fight to win. Gotta box them out just like Robin did. Do what Wallace did. With she to be in championship ring when the season ends. Gotta please the fans. Lace them up. Mace them. Make the place a rubber. Gracious flush. For the win of the fate of luck. The spirit of Detroit when they facing us. Like the microwaves, they heating up. Bad boys, no police enough. Like Zeke, be tough. No crutch from the top of the key, be clutch. Defense, Joe D, that's us. Get up out your seats, we up. Switch gears like a piston, do. Stop and shoot. You got the cue. Free throw, gotta execute. No ref with who. Win or lose, get the best of you.